Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to log into your MyGov account, access the ATO online services for individuals, um, and then we're going to have a quick look around and see what you can do and a couple of quick tips. Um, so the first thing to do is to go to mygov, my.gov.au um, and you'll get redirected to this login page. You can enter username and password. Um, my understanding is the ATO are phasing those out and uh, you will only be able to log in with a digital identity, which is your MyGov ID. Um, we've covered setting up your MyGov ID and using that in a previous video. Um, if you haven't done that yet, go and find that video uh, so you can, you can do that and then you can come back here and proceed. So I'm just getting in now. This is the email address associated with it. Now I enter that code into my phone done and it should load. Beautiful. So this is my MyGo account. As you can see, I've got it connected to the ATO here. Uh, also got it connected to Medicare. But click on the ATO and there we go. Okay. So this is my online services account. Uh, so there's a few menus up here, tax, super, employment, my, pro my profile. First thing you should do is jump into my profile and check, check all these details out. A um, couple of notes really quickly, under personal details, some details may be, particularly the postal address, might be your tax agent. Some things you won't be able to change. If you have a tax agent, please contact them and get them to change it because they will have other systems they need to change. Under authorised contacts, it will show other people that you have authorised and you can actually give other people access here. Um, this will allow them to call the ATO on your behalf and things like that. Agent details will just show your tax agent details. Associates will be all the entities that you are associated with. So if you're a director of a company and so on, they will show there. Financial institution details will be your bank account. If you have a tax agent, it will likely be their bank account. Please, particularly for our clients, don't change that. Um, when we lodge your tax return, it'll go back to our account anyway. It will just end up going around in circles. Uh, manage card details, you probably don't need to do much with. Um, if you're on a payment plan or something and you want to make payments directly from that card, you can set that up here. Um, but the communication tab, please go into there and have a look. The history will show you all the letters you have been sent, um, also some emails over the past five years. Now, you can see here on mine, everything's going to MyGov, and this is causing problems for a lot of people, um, a lot of our clients in particular with pay-as-you-go instalment notices because they are being delivered to your MyGov account. They're not being sent by paper. ATO is moving to digital by default. We can't do anything about it. Um, you need to be checking your MyGov account. Um, it's it's causing, causing all sorts of problems where people are being charged instalments, people being sent letters. They're not seeing them because they're not going into MyGov. Uh, and, you know, things are being late. Things aren't getting paid. Um, and we don't get notified. When the ATO sends something to your MyGov account, we don't get notified as your tax agent, which is a bugbear. We have ATO are fixing it, but it's a long process for the ATO to fix things. So something else you should do is go to your preferences here. So these are communication preferences. If you have a tax agent, you won't be able to do much there. Okay. If you don't have a tax agent, you will have some options um, on how you want to receive some things. Some things you'll get a choice, some things you won't. Um, we're going to go across back to the home screen. You can customise your home screen, I believe, a little bit just to see some things. You can, I think, change these, or if not, you will be able to soon. Um, under tax, you can look at your accounts. So see if you owe any money. So particularly if you want to know whether you owe any um, activity statements, you can see those here. For those that pay pay-as-you-go instalments, there will be another account here, which all the pay-as-you-go instalments will be in. But have a look here, see if you owe any money. You can see your lodgements, and from inside income tax, you can also download 
your notice of assessment. You can make payments through here and you can also update tax registrations, for example GST and all sorts of other things in there. You can view your super fund, view your account details, check your balance. You can check your various um, contribution cap balances. So where, where, where are we here? So concessional contributions. So you can see there, contributions for the year, unused contributions. You know, you can lodge various forms, Division 293 elections. Um, you can check your employment details, but just have a play around. So not a huge amount to do in there, but up, keep your info updated. Um, but definitely have a look at your tax accounts. Um, there should be a, another tab up here if you lodge activity statements for activity statements and you can go in there, you can view those. You can vary your pay as you go installments, you can lodge your BAS, all that sort of stuff. Um, and that, you know, nutshell is your personal online services.